Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow or whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to use one of these, we're going to use one of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. Um, this is for whoever it resonates with. Usually these readings resonate with the people that need them the most. Um, as far as private readings go, I've been getting a lot of requests, a lot, and I'm booked up until March 18th. So if you would like to book a reading, you can send me an email and I will start booking for March 18th on. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. If I'm not here for a day, it's because... I'm taking a break, so there's no need to worry. I've gotten a few emails. Where are you okay? I'm human. I am human. So, you know, if I take a day off, well, everybody takes a day off once in a while, right? I also have to mention that I have a couple of vacations planned coming up. So, a couple. So, that means that if I'm not here for a couple days, no need to fret. I will be back, okay? So, here we go. What do we got? What do we need to know? What is the message that needs to come out for today? Tomorrow? Whatever. Oh! Wow. Wow. emotional fulfillment. This is happiness. You may be having vivid dreams at this time. Pay attention to your dreams because your dreams are telling you something. Really be paying attention to your dreams at this time. If you can remember them, uh, when you wake up, write them down. Do it fast because your dreams are probably giving you a message. This is a new start in love. So this is great. It really is. Ooh, we talked about this one yesterday. Remember, I, or, well, it was for today. The message was for today, and this was the card that I saw, but I didn't see it, you know, but I mentioned it at the beginning. A major new beginning. We have a major new beginning of emotional fulfillment. It's coming. It's coming. Somebody is completing a chapter in their life. They are something big, a phase. Maybe it's just a phase of emptiness. It could be a phase of loneliness, whatever this is. <laughs> it's about to improve, okay? Emotional happiness. Ha happiness should be coming back, okay? Something is about to get better. Well, we only want one, so we're just going to put them back in and keep going. One card. One card. Everything does happen for a reason. It does. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. There's a reason. There's a reason why everything happens. Believe it. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. You know, it's funny. And all you guys have all, all heard me say this multiple times. It's all about love, right? It's all about love. That is the purpose of living. The purpose of living is to love. That's what you're here to do. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It doesn't.
something is ending and it's it's time to be happy again happiness is coming back you got to love yourself though you have to love yourself first doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Uh-oh. I mean, Ace of Pentacles, somebody is letting go of something. Maybe tossing it away. Maybe throwing it away. You know. Not accepting something. Maybe they're not accepting an opportunity because it's not what they want. I don't know. Or they're just... Deciding they don't want it anymore. I don't want this opportunity. Five of Swords, because we love that card, don't we? And the Seven of Rods, and Seven of Wands, reversed. Mm, God, that card is just terrible. Somebody's giving up a fight. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to fight. I don't want, I'm giving up the fight. That's what this is. There's no reason to hang on to it. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's just not even practical anymore. It's not. It's not a good thing anymore. It's too... Too much conflict. Too much pettiness, too much battling. There's been too many power struggles. You can't win no matter what. So somebody's giving up because they're in search of that emotional fulfillment. And they, it's like they know that it's all about love. And in order for me to have that ultimate love, I have to stop fighting. It's not about the money. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's not about the money. The Ace of Pentacles is money. It's not about the money. It's about love. And that's why this one is reversed. And that is the, what this is. Somebody has come to the realization that it's not about the money, you know. I'm missing out on love. I'm missing out on emotional fulfillment. And they've come to that realization. There's a lot of people that haven't. but there There is. But there's a lot of people that obviously are. Because, I mean, this is a lesson learned. When you get to the world card, you have learned a lesson. It was a big one, too. So somebody has learned a big lesson about something. You know, they've they went through some sort of uh, journey that has taught them something. And now they're, they've learned something from it. Victory. Success. Yeah, somebody somebody has definitely come to the end. It's like they've they've reached some sort of goal. Stepped over the finish line, seriously. And somebody is going to be recognized for their hard work, their perseverance. Their nobility. Somebody is going to be recognized. Interesting. Oh, yes. Yep. It's a time to celebrate. It's a time of happiness. It's, it's time to be happy again. There may be uh, reuniting with some old friends or coming together with friends to celebrate. You could be deciding that it's just time to go out and have fun, reconnect with your friends. I want to have fun. I, I want to be happy. There's a lot of happiness coming. Somebody has definitely realized that they don't they don't need to be in this power struggle anymore. They don't need to play this game. 
They don't, they don't need to... stay in an unsafe situation. They don't need to be overpowered and they're going to stand up for themselves. That's what it looks like to me. Page of Cups. Offer of emotional support or this could be an unexpected but welcome offer of love or emotional support somebody may be getting ready to offer you something maybe they're just thinking about it right now getting ready to It's funny. Love versus money. There, somebody is just finally deciding that, or maybe not just finally, or they've really come to the conclusion that, you know, it's about love. I want love. They may be walking away from something that was emotionally dissatisfying or emotionally hurt them. I mean, something, they're walking away from somebody that probably has found somebody else, turning their back. I'm, re I'm just leaving this behind. Standing their ground. I, it's, even though it hurts, I got to go. I got to go. So it looks like somebody is leaving behind a serious, uh, seriously con conflicting situation where there's, there's a lot of bickering and power struggles and overpowering and uh, mind games. <laughs> to start over. Somebody is going to start over. It's time for me to start over. Time for me to take the high road. <laughs> Leave the past behind. Somebody is about to take a big risk and just leave it all. That's what it looks like to me. I'm leaving this behind. That's what's happening. Somebody is leaving behind something that was very troublesome. Really troublesome. I mean, really painful. Scary. If they would have stayed, you know, if they if they didn't escape why they did before, you know, if they don't hurry up and go, it could get worse. Just put it that way. Anyway, um, somebody is deciding that I have to go. I'm, I'm a free spirit. I want to be a free spirit. I, you know, it's ready. It's I'm ready. I'm ready to fly. I'm ready to go. Oh. Yeah, somebody's been holding on to a dead-end situation. They can't do it anymore. It's gotten old. And it's like, you know what? I'm ready to rise again. I'm ready to, you know, step over that finish line. Somebody has held on to something that probably was ready to die a long time ago. It was time. It's time for a transformation. But somebody was standing in the way of their own transformation. And it's like now they finally have the confidence to really step over that finish line. To really go. It's time to go. It's time to go because I, I, it's, I want happiness, you know. Somebody's been holding on to a situation just for the stability, the financial aspect of it. Somebody has been sticking around. 
just for the financial reasons, okay? Just for the money, just for the stability, whatever. And if you notice again, money versus love. So it's just like, I, 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 I want happiness. These people are like, keep the money. I don't care about the money. Keep the money. You know, and they're like, they're, they see him. It's like, they don't even give us yet. Take it. They're not trying to stop him. Take the money. Who cares about the money? They're having fun. So somebody is missing out on living. Somebody is missing out on all the fun. They're missing out on friendship. They're missing out on... Love because of ego. I mean, it's a very egotistical card because of stability. Holding on to a dead end situation when all they need to do is find the confidence to stand up for themselves. They'll be recognized for it if they do. These people, I mean, look, they're all cheering him on because this guy, you know, did what he had to do to succeed. He didn't give up. He did what he had to do. I feel like we have somebody here that is ready to just leave it all. I'm ready to leave it all behind. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody's ready to just let go. I don't need this anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm. I'm gonna be my own hero. And go out and have some fun. I'm gonna go live again. I'm gonna be happy. Now there could be some sort of celebration coming up because somebody decides to escape from a situation you know usually when people escape they get this newfound power you know get they, they feel victorious and they want to go out with their friends they want to engage their friends this is emotional support so let your friends help you if you are going through a difficult time <clears throat> maybe you're walking away or somebody's walking away from you let your friends help you okay Mm. And now these are both transformation cards. They're both reversed. Somebody has been really stuck. Somebody has been really stuck uh, not mastering their emotions, not, not taking the reins, not moving forward because they were holding on to the past, holding on to the memories. No courage. But having this no courage to break free from this terrible situation that somebody has been in has been painful. It has been painful. And I feel like now somebody is finding the ability to just go, you know, step over that edge. Take that risk and leave it all behind. Yeah, I'm going to take those memories with me, but I'm in charge. Somebody has been afraid to take off, afraid to release, afraid to transition. And probably a lot of the fear has come from financial worries. You know financial aspects or whatever and now somebody is like realizing that all I want is emotionally f fulfillment I fuck the money excuse my language you know how that happens anyway um, there could be a reconnection or a reunion here with somebody from your past 
And I hate to say the words, but it's the truth. Okay, this is a reunion. This is somebody from the past. So two people, or even three people, I don't know, could be coming together. There's some indecision here, but the universe is going to help you out with that indecision. Okay, it looks like the uh, universe is going to... Uh, step in here and cause somebody to find their power that they have lost because something's going to come crumbling down. There's going to be some sort of upheaval okay there's going to be some sort of destruction something is going to explode something is going to happen that is going to crash down a structure that isn't no longer stable anyway it was waiting to come it was waiting waiting to come down it was going to come down sooner or later anyway it was getting old it was getting cracked over time you know it was it was wearing down wearing down wearing down and all of a sudden Something is going to happen and it is going to come crashing down. It's going to happen suddenly, out of the blue, when you least expect it. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But somebody has not been able to face their fears. They haven't. They haven't been able to face their fears about ending a situation that probably was ready to end a long time ago. Maybe they've been dreaming about love, you know, real love. And it's just like now they've gotten to the point where this is, I want this real love. I want, I remember what love is supposed to be like and that's what I want. So I really feel like somebody is, has been trying to escape the reality that this needed to crumble, that this needed to come down, that this was just false, you know, it wasn't stable anyway, you know. Somebody has been in denial about it, and it's like now they can't probably deny it anymore because, well, they can't because the un this is a universe card where the universe steps in and causes this destruction or causes this upheaval in your life to cleanse out what no longer serves you. If you are too weak to make a move and you are struggling like this to the point where it's just about killing you, that's when the universe will step in. Especially if you are, you know, really thinking a lot because your thoughts become things, you know. You know, if you're really thinking about love and you're wanting love and you're basically praying for love, even if you're doing it subconsciously, the universe hears you. So that's when they come in to break down your false foundation to give you that rude awakening that, yes, you must take control of your life. You have to. So anyway, this Two of Swords is um, somebody, you know, finally seeing the truth. They've been overwhelmed with fear. They've been overwhelmed with worry and anxiety. And it's like now they can't. They can't deny it anymore. It's undeniable. They can't deny it because of this upheaval that is about to happen. Something is going to happen. And it's just like, it's time. It's time to make that decision. It looks like somebody is making a decision to... Go solo. Start over. Start fresh. I mean, that's what I got. There's, there's really no need to go any further. There's a message that is going to be coming in. A message is going to be coming in. Okay? Could, something is going to happen fast. Okay? There's going to be a fast... Um, change okay something is going to happen quickly could be 
like I said, instantly. It's, it's like when you're watching TV and it's lightning outside, you know, it's thundering and lightning and that lightning comes in through the window and zaps your TV and you didn't even expect it happened to me. My big ass TV got zapped by lightning. Huge TV. That's what this is. You didn't even expect it. I saw it. Anyway. Anyway, um... I was sitting right in front of it. Anyway, so those are all messages for you. You may see this happen. You may see this. And it's funny that that just came out. Something may happen and you see it happening. You see this, this whatever it is, crumble. And it's just like, it's it's like wild. It's like, oh my God. Zip. That's what happened. It was zip. Right. Done. TV done. Big TV. Huge. Anyhow. Um, be prepared. Expect the unexpected. Whatever is happening, whatever is happening, it's going to allow somebody to start over in a new direction without bringing the baggage. Because the only thing this fool is bringing is what he can carry in his bag. Which is mostly life experiences and memories. The Six of Cups is memories. So, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is ready to step over the finish line after they have held on to a dead end situation with a little bit of a push from the universe okay because this is a push from the universe so be prepared um in the end this is going to lead to victory you will be recognized for doing the right thing for your perseverance, and it will end with some sort of celebration of some sort. It's a celebration of who you are because you, you do the right thing, okay? So anyway, I feel like this, I don't know who this message is for, but somebody is about to go their own way and leave all this bullshit behind. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Just go. Don't. Just go. Whatever it is that you want to do, just do it. Do it. This is take a leap of faith. Take that risk. It's time to fly. In one of the decks, it's the, the bird, the baby bird sitting on the limb. It's the fool. It's time to fly. If you don't spread your wings and fly, you're never going to get anywhere. It's time to complete that old cycle. It's time. It's over. You've done everything you can do. You've went through every card in the deck. That means that you've experienced all that you're going to experience in that lesson, whatever that lesson was, okay? And now it's time to work on the next one. Travel. Whatever that, whatever that is. Maybe it's go to that next destination. It's funny, I started this out with travel, didn't I? I got, I got some travel coming up. It's time to travel to your next destination, wherever that is. Whether it's literally traveling or it's you, you know, traveling to that next lesson, whatever that is. This is a lesson learned. One phase of your life is over. Accept it. It's time to start over from the first card to the last card. Or you could say the last card to the it's time to start over to start your new life whatever that means to you let go of the worry the universe has your back even though you may not realize that somebody's been holding on to the past okay this is holding on to a dead end situation the past i mean i can't make that shit up and you can whatever i don't care who likes me i really don't you know anyway um, but I do see that somebody is ready. They're ready. They're ready to go. It's like, see ya. So yeah, let's get one of these too, just for the heck of it. I don't know where you, where you are at for time. Oh, well. 
cares about the time, right? It's not about the time. It's about emotional fulfillment. It's all it's about. It's all about love. I mean, that's what it's about. But a lot of people don't realize that, and that's clear. I mean, it's clear here. A lot of people, are in, some people are in a situation because it's financially stable, but there ain't no love, and that sucks. But hey, that's a lesson you need to learn. Absolutely. So, whatever. I sure as hell don't want to die when it comes to be my end and look back and be like, oh my God, I wasted my life on money and... <laughs> You know, I had somebody say to me, well, you don't save your money? I said, hell no. I could be dead tomorrow. I'm traveling. I'm going to live right now. I'm going to live today. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. I got a vacation booked for every month, and it's going to keep going. I got two coming right up, and I got another one right after that. Boom, 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 boom. I ain't wasting my time. Hopefully you're not either. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. <laughs> Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit now. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. The Creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. Life goes in cycles. There are times when the fields lay fallow, and there are also times of harvest. Right now, you are moving towards a harvest time to receive an outpouring. However, you must first know that you deserve it and you do. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. For the more you truly give, the more you receive. Oh my God, that is so funny. I've been giving money away like crazy. Anyway, I have been too. Anyway, um, and it just keeps on a flowing right in. It's amazing how that works. Um, it's a universal law. As you focus on gratitude for what you already have, your abundance will grow leaps and bounds. Amazing. Oh, we're going to read this one too. Miracles. The thing is, is I give without asking to be repaid. Inner and outer healing on all levels is occurring in your life. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Miracles. I was on the wrong card. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty, and majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. You are going to need to trust because there is going to be a rude awakening. There's going to be some sort of upheaval. This has to happen. To clear out the dead weight. To clear out things that are dead. That you haven't done. You haven't made the cut. The universe is going to help you. 
We gotta start this one over. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty, and majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. What is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of, your, of the smaller marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish them when they appear, no matter how small they may seem. What others see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life in a new way. Let go of fear and expectations and allow their creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think miracles can appear in your life. Don't limit the way. All is well. Dreams may have a factor here, just saying, because I, I really feel like there's there's a message in your dreams. But anyway... You know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. I don't have to tell you. Good luck. <laughs>